Like that's not something you plant your flag on. Uh, but I get really mad at a couple of things. Someone doesn't know how to hit a good bump lob or topspin lob. I mean, you know, I had the pleasure to lose to Mike and Bob as a coach many times, and their bump lobs were just amazing how they could keep the point going. So I instituted two rules into our warm up at USC. We did lobs, which I stole from Agassi. It was a drill in one of his videos. I don't know if Andre ever did it, but he did it in the video, and I'll show you. And then I made the team do bounce overheads every day. Uh, when you know, I started working with Juliana almost uh, last December, and she is just a joy to work with because she listens and works. <laughs> New concept in life. Um, I I coach a Marine League team. Uh, they're three five. I don't know what place they came in this year, but after nine months, they, they're starting to listen to me. Uh, and I, I went and coached Juliana at Indian Wells, and she got to the semis. And I thought, what can I take away from this doubles that I watched? You know, it was, it was, it was pretty funny. You know, I went to my first match, and I was like, oh my God, I can coach. But try coaching with like uh, 2,000 people watching, and it's not very easy, and you can't leave your seat. But the very first thing I taught Juliana was a lob. I said, Juliana, the lob in women's doubles is so important. So, like with my Marine League, we just hit some lobs. Actually, Grace has never done this throw, I think. Um, I, I, part of their warm-up is we go like three, four hands across, and then we go three lobs across. But I move up and I give them this, this target for me to hit over, right? A, a little better drill, the Andre drill was, I'm slicing, and this is what I do with Juliana. Juliana and I will go through this in like two minutes from all angles of the court. I'm slicing, I'm trying to give her as much a, target as possible that she's gonna see in a match. But like with Juliana, we'll go, let's go cross court, Grace. We'll do cross court. She'll get a, a good little groove on this. Four hands too. No, stay in that corner, yep. Great. And then we just go right down the line. And Juliana is, her lob has got, got so good and she takes such great pride in it. She'll send me videos of her hitting good shots like this and then we'll just go across. And Juliana plays the, the deuce side, but we have her hit from every side, right? Okay, um, the next one, Juliana was a little like, why are we doing this? You know, actually women's doubles players don't hit a lot of bounce overheads, they hit swinging volleys. So, you're gonna hit a bump lob. Again, I don't know that Grace and I have done this. You're gonna hit a bump lob and I'm gonna hit an overhead. So, Grace. So I'm working on this. And Grace is working on her bump lob. My teams over the years knew that if they hit a forehand over off a, off a deep lob, they were gonna hear it from me later. An overhead is named an overhead because the point is over. Right, that's why they call it an overhead. It's not over your head, the point's over. Make the point over. Oh, all these years. Um, last drill. The, we do a lot of serving, and I know Grace just starts slow. Grace also has a match today at noon, so really appreciate her being here. We're just gonna do serve plus one. So I do a lot of, like, obviously we get her served down, but when she's hitting serves, I want her just to, right, hit serves and serve plus one, right? And she goes back, hits another serve. So instead of standing behind her and feeding it, I think this is such a better way to serve it. 
right? And I always tell them, look, if you can get the first two shots in, you've got a great chance of winning the points. Right. Well, big round of applause for Grace Dew. She is amazing. And I really appreciate you coming down. Good job. We can warm up the set in a bit. Okay. Okay, okay. All right, thank you, honey. Any other questions, thoughts, comments? All right, thank you guys.